already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Four of Wands, and it's with the Fool. So, the Fool card is telling me that this could have um, been a new beginning, or you took a leap of faith towards someone that you you wanted a new beginning with. Fool card can be about new beginnings, just jumping right on in there without any thought whatsoever. Because you knew this is where you wanted to be and where you wanted to go. And this is how you felt. You jumped right on in there. And it looks like things were going really well with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is the card above the word pass. Yeah, it, it felt like this connection could actually go somewhere. And for a lot of you, it did. It led to marriage, commitment childbirth, engagement. Yeah, the two of you were staring into each other's eyes. Looking like a well-lit Christmas tree. You were very happy that you jumped right on in. And so were they. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the death card. And the King of Cups. Now, because the King of Cups is here, some of you, you're dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. That's that's what I'm strongly getting here. This person has a lot of love for you. They're emotionally invested with the King of Cups. Whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that um, it's about love. What's in the King of Cups? Cup is love. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get this King of Cups in a reading. But we got the Death card here. So the Death card can be about losing interest. It can be about coming to a conclusion. It can be about deep change, deep transformation. What I'm picking up, Capricorn, is that for some of you, you could be losing interest in this connection. For some of you, you're just changing. You're not the same person that you were when you first got involved with this person. But they're still in it. They're very much still emotionally invested in you and the connection with the King of Cups here. For some of you, you've come to a conclusion. Yeah, and I'm just strongly getting that. For a lot of you Capricorns, you're just different now. You're just not the same person. You, you've changed. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. we got the Five of Pentacles. And it's with the Three of Pentacles. So, Three of Pentacles, the card that's below the word challenge. It can be about working things out. It can be about getting on the same page. Yeah, so your person, they could be wanting you to, they could be wanting cooperation from you. They could be wanting you, you two to work things out. Yeah, they've got, you got someone who's, who really, who really likes you. They could love you with the King of Cups here. So... They want to work things out. They feel left out in the cold by you with the Five of Pentacles. 
showing up in this reading. Five of Pentacles is the card below the word challenge. For some of you, you're not opening the door to this person anymore. You see how this lady, she's she couldn't even get inside this the house. And the dog is barking at her. So, this person feels less than secure about this connection now. But they, they want you to get back on the same page. They want cooperation with you. Teamwork, collaboration. So, yeah, it's making them not happy. Five of Pentacles is not a happy indicator when it comes to love and relationships. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is working really hard. Yeah, very hard. This person, the picture that's above the word outcome, it's necessary efforts. It can be about being motivated, inspired, working a lot. Now it's with this Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups, the card that's below the word outcome, that's everything. Everyone wants a Ten of Cups in a reading. Your person, they feel like you're the one for them. They, they feel like they want it all with you. Like I said, you got someone here that's really into you, but you're changing or you've lost interest for some reason or another. Something could have happened. They feel like you're leaving them out in the cold now. They're hoping and wanting the two of you to get back on the same page. You're this person's end-all, be-all. That's how they see you. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, it's telling you that they will work really hard just to get this back on track. And that's how they're feeling. They'll go really hard for this. Like I said, Capricorns, you got someone that really wants to be with you. They want to get it back to where it used to be. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading, just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also, don't forget to keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.